assalamu alaikum everyone welcome to this second lecture in section 2 of our course on uh, excel for business analytics in this lecture we are actually going to talk about uh, removing duplicates from uh, your data set so as data analyst uh, you know you would come across uh, different types of data numeric non numeric uh, and then, uh, you know, it's actually very important to check that data for sanity and purity. So it's really necessary that before you actually put that data to use in order to come up with any sort of analysis, you pre-process that data by actually, you know, filtering it, checking it for, you know, missing values uh, or, you know, duplicate values or errorless values or values that should not be there or are incorrect. So we're not actually going to talk about what sort of checks uh, that, you know, you can actually put into place, uh, but we will actually talk about one of the, uh, you know, methodologies of removing uh, problematic values out of uh, your data set, which is actually duplicate values. So duplicate values uh, can be useful uh, in some cases, but in some cases they are absolutely not useful and they are not required in the data set and they uh, need to be extracted out or removed out of the data. Um, in order to actually make you guys understand, uh, let's move to an Excel file uh, and you know, do a very short uh, example. So there are primarily two ways of, um, uh, you know, removing duplicates. And the first way of removing duplicates is, uh, you know, by using conditional formatting. You, the idea behind using conditional formatting to remove duplicates is actually it's not removing duplicates you're actually you know identifying them you can remove them if you want to but the primary reason of using conditional formatting of uh, you know of, of working with uh, duplicates is to actually identify them you want to remove them or you don't want to remove them that's up to you but if you want to identify them uh, and you know probably keep them in your data set you can actually you know uh, do that by conditional formatting so let's just do that real quickly right now so on the left hand side these two columns uh, we're going to set up our an example our uh, example of uh, conditional formatting over here just select the entire selection of column uh, that you want to uh, check for duplicates so this is uh, this column is actually for uh, you know a certain location numbers uh, and uh, associated with those location numbers are some serial numbers and we want to check if you know there are certain locations that are actually duplicated so once you've actually selected the column you can actually go to the conditional formatting uh, you know option over here and the home tab and then go to uh, highlight cell rules and in highlight cell rules you would be able to see duplicate values once you click over here it actually asks you to format cells that contains duplicates or unique. So if you click on unique, it's actually going to give you, uh, you know, colored cells on all those cells that are actually unique. But over here, our objective is to actually remove the duplicates. So just select duplicate and then tell Excel that how do you want Excel to fill out those cells where, you know, these duplicate values are. Uh, let's just try a couple of options so i want a green field with the dark green text so once i click ok as you can see over here that you uh, that all the duplicate values those values that are duplicating again and again in my you know location number column are actually now uh, you know colored and green you can go ahead and further process this uh, by actually adding a filter uh, and you know, actually segregating them or just, uh, you know, isolating them. So you can just go, uh, you know, into your filter when you set it up, which I've already told you how to do that in the last uh, video. And then you can actually sort your column by uh, the color. So just tell Excel that just sort these values by color. So once you do that, you would be able to see that it actually uh, moves all the duplicates together. So you can actually go ahead uh, and remove them or just keep them and observe them you know uh, in order to see if you want to remove them or if you want to do something else with them so this is one of the ways of actually using conditional formatting 
uh, in order to get rid of duplicate values. Moving on to our second method uh, for removing duplicates, uh, I'm going to quickly uh, you know, isolate this example and then I am going to select both uh, location number and total sales. Uh, and then I'm going to move to data tab and then to data tools in the ribbon. And from over here, uh, just select duplicate, uh, remove duplicates. Once you click on this, uh, it actually asks you that uh, which column do you want to remove the duplicates from. Uh, in my case, I just want to remove them from location number. Uh, and once I select location number and click OK, it's actually going to remove the duplicates uh, from location and location number, but it's actually also going to reduce total sales because, uh, you know, in my original selection, I actually selected both location number and total sales. All right. Using this methodology, it's a little different than the first method uh, of, of conditional formatting that we used. And that's because of the fact that once you actually use remove duplicates to the data tab it actually completely removes the duplicates it actually doesn't identify the duplicates that what are those duplicates or what were those duplicates it just goes uh, and you know uh, uh, in a covert way identifies those uh, duplicates and then just simply removes them now this might uh, in your case work or you know if you know, it, 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 if, if, if the duplicate values are actually of some sort of importance for you, then this might method not work. So uh, it actually comes down to you. What do you want to do with the duplicates? Do you want to observe them before you remove them? Or do you want to, you know, just simply remove the duplicates because they hold no value to your analysis? Uh, then your choice of how to remove the duplicates would actually, you know, boil down uh to uh what you want to do with the duplicates um so these were the two methods <coughs> of uh you know removing the duplicates see you guys in the next section